ago, rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol in protest of the 2020 election results. Nearly 750 people were arrested for their actions related to the riot, including a half dozen from Montana. MTN's John Riley has an update on where those cases stand. Those charged from Montana are Joshua and Jared Hughes, Isaac Sturgeon, Boyd Camper, Hank Munzer, and Andrew Kavanaugh. The Hughes brothers from East Helena, who have pled not guilty, are some of the more high-profile individuals who have been arrested so far in connection with the riot. The two men are accused of being some of the first to enter the U.S. Capitol building through a window that had been broken by another rioter. They can also be seen in photographs confronting police officer Eugene Goodman. Goodman led rioters away from the U.S. Senate chamber while it was still being evacuated. They have a status conference scheduled for January 7th. Isaac Sturgeon of Dillon is the only Montanan charged with assaulting a police officer. He is accused of joining two other men in using a metal barricade to ram D.C. police. Boyd Allen Camper, formerly from the Missoula area, is the first known Montanan to have pleaded guilty for actions taken on January 6th. Camper signed a plea agreement in August, admitting to parading, demonstrating, or picketing in Capitol buildings. He's been sentenced to 60 days in prison, 60 hours of community servants, and pay $500 in restitution. Andrew Kavanaugh from Bozeman has been charged with knowingly entering or remaining in any restricted building or grounds without lawful authority and violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. He has also entered a plea of not guilty. Dillon business owner Hank Munzer has pleaded not guilty to the five charges brought against him by federal prosecutors, including obstruction of official proceedings and entering and remaining in a restricted building. Munzer has indicated he intends to take his case to trial and told MTN last year he believes videos he recorded will show he did nothing wrong. Trial progress has been slow for many defendants due to the large amount of evidence collected by federal investigators. The government has had to create a database in order to effectively provide discovery to defendants' counsel. The vast majority of that database has been completed as of December, and cases are anticipated to progress much quicker in 2022. Reporting from Helena, John Riley, MTN News.